Hi folks. If you're thinking about signing your kids up for one of our fall clubs, but you're not sure what they're all about or which one might be the best for you, I thought I'd put these, this series of videos together to explain a little bit about each club, how they're different, and then you could pick which one you think would be the best fit. Our fall clubs are going to run for 10 weeks from September 11th through November 13th. The Fireman's Club will meet Tuesdays from 3 to 5 so kids can walk down after school. I'll have a game set up on the table for them based on what they tell me they want to play that week. This is a club that is designed around cooperative games. That's something that you may not be familiar with. In most games we think, you know, old school, Monopoly or Risk, you and I as, as opponents, we're fighting against each other the whole time. Well, the idea behind a cooperative game is that instead of us competing against each other, we're actually working together as a team to try to beat the game. And this is great if you have a student who maybe is a little bit too competitive and you want them to learn how to win and lose a little more graciously, how to work together as a team. This club is designed for kids ages 10 to 13, which is about 5th through 7th grade. And here's an example of the type of game that we could play at the Fireman's Club. This is a really fun game called Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters. And in this game, you're going to play as one of these kids who's trying to go into this haunted house and return or retrieve all of these gems, all of these treasures. And it's a really simple game. All you're going to do, sort of a classic game because it's a roll and move game. You're going to roll one die and then you get to move your player, let's say that I'm yellow, that many spaces. So I could go one, two, three, and go into this room. The board is set up sort of like Clue, it's like a mansion. And then once I'm in that room, the players are really cool because they actually have these little backpacks on and the gems that you pick up fit in those backpacks. And they're, so it's pretty neat. But because I rolled a ghost, that means I'm gonna have to add a ghost to the house. And this card tells me that we're going to add a ghost in room J, which actually happens to be right where I'm at. And so throughout the game, different players are going to be going throughout the house. They're going to be trying to get these different gems. And the whole objective of the game is to get the gems and get them all out of the house before the house gets too haunted. What happens is each turn, like you saw here, most times you're going to add ghosts to the rooms, okay? The only time you don't add a ghost is if you happen to roll a six. But if you roll a one, two, three, four, or five, you're gonna add ghosts each turn. And what happens is if you get a room like this that has three ghosts, you take those ghosts off and you replace it with this spooky looking haunt guy, okay? So we'll remove these three ghosts and we put the haunt guy in there. Well, in this game, there are three, four, five, six of these haunts. If the haunted house ever gets all six of those guys out on the table at one time, the game's over and we lose. So we're all working together here to try to retrieve the, the gems and get them out of the house. And so the temptation is always to just run forward as fast as you can, grab as many of them as you can, and then get them out. But depending on how many players there are, as you're grabbing that and then coming back out of the house, and obviously the ones that are further away take longer, you're gonna be adding ghosts as you go out, you're gonna be adding ghosts as you go back in, and so the ghosts, ghosts multiply very quickly. So the trick and the hardest thing I think for kids is to be patient and try, you have to fight the ghosts as you go. And when you're in a room with a ghost, what you can choose to do is you can choose to fight the ghost. And if I roll a ghost, I take that ghost off the board, okay? And if I happen to be, let's say I'm in this room that's that's super haunted, in order to fight off a haunt, I have to have a partner. It's not something that I can do alone. I can fight ghosts alone, but I have to have a, a teammate. So we have to work together. And when we're together, we get to roll two dice. And in this case, I rolled two ghosts. That doesn't help me. In order to get rid of the haunt guy, I have to remove that, or I have to roll that haunt. So the trick in Ghost Fight and Treasure Hunters is to fight ghosts as you go along, because each turn, you're gonna be picking up these cards and you're gonna be adding more ghosts to the board. 
Now, one of the coolest things that I like about this game, if you play the basic level, it's not very difficult. But in this game, you can add some extra cards in if you want to ramp up the difficulty. And what these blue cards do is they shut. If you draw a blue card, they shut blue doors. So let's say I was in this room and I wanted to get this gem out of the house. I would have to go all the way around and come out this way because this door is closed. Unless I drew another blue card, which would allow me to open that door back up. Then there's also green doors, which open and close the green doors. So you could play just with one color door, or you could play with both if you wanted to make it really difficult. And then my favorite part is these nasty guys. What these guys do is if I flip one of these cards up, that means I have to pick two more. And so I'm going to add two more ghosts to the board. And if I pick this guy, I'm going to add three more ghosts to the board. So it's a really cool game in that you can customize the difficulty and you can really, as you get better at the game, you can ramp it up by adding these extra cards and really make it super challenging. So this is the type of game that we would play with the Fireman's Club. We all work together to try to accomplish a mission and teamwork and cooperation are the key to winning the game. And so depending on what your kid's interested in, we have a different club each day of the week that should fit their needs. They ought to be able to find something that would interest them and their friends. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at sidetracksbgc at gmail.com. If you want to sign up for a club, just go to our Kickstarter page and you'll see the fall 2023 club reward level. If you pledge at that $65 level, we'll reach out to you and we'll find out what club you want to sign up for and look forward to seeing you in the fall. We're going to have a lot of fun. See ya.